Welcome to the Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. Featuring undiscovered artists from across the globe. Unlocking the music from hip-hop to rock. We got it. Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. I'm your host, Sincere on ba ba Beats. And I'm your girl, Daisy, D-A-Y-C-E-E, in the place to be. What up? Shouts out to everybody who participated in the march in Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, to all the black militias and the black gun clubs, man. I salute you. Thank you for everything that you do for our community, man. We appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Yes, and it made for a very memorable Memorial Day weekend. I can't say that, so I'll say double M weekend. <laughs> say that three <laughs> times real fast. I can't. I can't. <laughs> But listen, before we start anything, we have to uh, shout out our sponsors. Um, first sponsor is uh, Or Dangerous. Or Dangerous is a brand that uses inspirational merchandise to encourage believers to walk in their victory. We are ordained by God and therefore dangerous to the devil. All right. And we are rocking the gear today. Yes, we rock the gear. Or gear because we are or dangerous. Definitely. Or dangerous. So go pick up a shirt. Um, second sponsor is Beauty Par. Go to beautypar.com, and um, I, I like using uh, the body butters that they have. And I also have a, a, a face shield. Okay. It's a clear face shield that protects me from um, bad breath, uh, COVID-19, and, um, you know, when people eat. And they talk. Oh, gosh. All of that, huh? Yeah. Multipurpose. Uh, yeah, it's so a you, whole face shield. You need protection from bad breath? Yeah, I got a brother. He talk. <laughs> <laughs> if, Hassani, it's if, you. If, oh, no. You name names? I name names. It's wow. you. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Flying food. Wow. Yes, yes. So, um. um yes. Uh, oh, I wanted to. <laughs> that's her, y'all. I today. wanted to say that it's an online boutique. Yeah, so I there's guess. other things there, right? Other than uh, face shields. Yes, it's an online mm-hmm. boutique. Uh, you say tomato, I say tomato. All right. <laughs> it's an online boutique, so boutique. go check out beautypod.com. We also got a treat for you. We have the song of the week by Love on the Check. This song is titled Love. Um, Love on the Check has an album that drops today titled Liquor, Lust, and Lies. All right. And before you get all caught up in your feelings about the title of the album, yes. check out the content of the song. Go check it out. Stop being in your feelings, man. <laughs> you know, you listen to all types of music anyway. So stop with the feelings. Stop with the feelings. Check, out the, feelings. check out the content. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all about love. Unlocking the music. Live on a check with a fresh vibe. Yeah, I say goodbye to a stressed life. Uh, and we can ride, I mean, just right. No one is perfect, but it's worth it if we try. I mean, I mean, blemish on a blemish. Cooking and I ain't finished. Back and forth like it's tennis. All of us need forgiveness. No wonder some of us run to a bottle like we have tennis. Ain't those who be feeling no be getting higher than the ceiling. But we know that feeling, that feeling of real love. That real love that follow the feeling of real hugs. The real hugs that come from a person who feels love. And still love when you are a person Unlocking who feels love. The so music. <laughs> Yo, that was Love on a Check. So go check out his album that dropped today. That made me, that gave me good vibes. It did, didn't it? Yeah, it did. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. If you want to send your music to us for the song of the week, sing it to, send it to musicdiarygroup at gmail.com. MP3, MP form is welcome. Uh, please, no links. And also, um, if you have a video, just send us the video. We'll post it if it's hot. Okay, and that brings us to what our topic. So you said something about a mood manipulator. So who is a mood manipulator? Music. Oh. Music. Yeah, music is the mood manipulator. Hmm. So we are wrapping up Mental, Mental health, health Month. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. so we wanted to to just uh, take some time to honor that. Yes. And talk about how. 
mental health is affected by music. Mm. And a lot of times people don't put the two together. No, they don't. Do they? They, I think we take for granted that how much music affects our mood. Mm-hmm. And so, but I know we were just kind of talking about uh, how we have like uh, what I like to call a life soundtrack. Okay. Meaning that we have songs that trigger memories. Yes, yes. Right? So a song is so powerful, it can trigger a memory of where you were, what you were doing, Perfect how you were example. feeling. Uh, a good example is, uh, you know, I lost my memory. So um, every my memory is still coming back. So every once in a while... I might smell something or I might hear a song. It's, it's more like songs. That song would bring me to back to that place where I heard that specific song and that exact feeling that I was feeling at that time where I heard that song. So, yeah. 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 And music That's powerful. is that powerful, right? Yeah. So you may be, you may hear a song and go back to, and it may, it may be a positive memory or right. it may be a very, it may be a very negative um you know, hurtful memory. Right. Um, you know, I had uh, one person I knew that uh, song reminded her of a, a loved one that had passed away. Okay. Several people, you know, that, that uh, you know, a song may remind you of a loved one that passed away. A song may remind you of um, some kind of traumatic incident. A song may remind you of a really happy, fond memory. Okay. And so, you know, that's how powerful music is. It is. Right. And so we also talked about how music people actually use music on purpose to manipulate your mood. Right. They do this. So they put it in like movie soundtracks. Yes. Remember how soundtracks used to be big. They used to sell like the album soundtrack Mm -hmm. albums. Albums. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. (laughs) It makes you feel a certain way, you know, right? because they want to put you in the mood of of each scene. Yes. Yes. Perfect example. Um, Grocery stores. Mm -hmm. Walmart. Walmart, what I've noticed is when you go into, uh, before you go into Walmart, in the park, parking lot, they have big speakers that's outside. Yeah. They play happy music to get you in the mood so when you go inside the store, you can happy shop. <laughs> and spend more money. <laughs> you straight tailgating before you even go into the Walmart. Like yes. they got, they got the tailgate party. They got the speakers ready. You don't even know what's going. Well, you don't even know what's happening to you. Just picking up stuff that's colorful, right? You know what I'm saying candy. You know whatever, <laughs> whatever stuff that makes makes you happy. You yeah. start picking that stuff up in the store. So it's 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 purposeful. I laugh because there's and there's, I think this is uh, neighborhood specific, mm-hmm. but the grocery store that I go to, yeah. that's where they got an R and B. DJ somewhere hiding in the back. Cause I mean, people just shopping and singing I, and I'm doing it too. Like a song come on and they got usher on the loudspeaker yeah. and I'm up, I'm singing and That's I'm crazy. shopping and then I pass by somebody else and they singing and shopping too. We That's all, crazy. <laughs> it's a party. I it's a party. That. At I the seen that store. happen one time, one or two times. I seen that. And I just like, yo, you jamming over there, right? They be like, yeah, yeah, I'm jamming. <laughs> but it happens. Yes. They want you to party and shop. That's crazy. Right. That's funny. And so you hear music pumping through in restaurants. Right. I've noticed that um, in the gym. In the gym. Mm-hmm. See, what I noticed in the gym, um, they don't play anything that's too happy or too kind of sad. It's, it's, it's right there in the middle. Just enough for you to get through your workout, you know, not for you to stay there forever. So that's what I've noticed, that type of music. You it's know? like it's, stuff with monotone beats, too, that you can yeah. work out to. Boom, yes. boom, boom. It boom. is. Yeah, yeah. To keep you in a rhythm, right? Repeti- repetitiveness, manipulation, manipulation, baby. <laughs> they gonna manipulate you to do what you want, what they want you to do with the music. Yes, and so it's it's amazing how powerful music is, and how much we just really don't give it, we don't give it its props for exactly. how powerful it is, and kind of take it and you know, um, we we just take it as surface, mm-hmm. but a lot of times it's really affecting our moods. And then you talk about even massage parlors. Yeah, massage parlors. You know they play uh, music that relaxes your body before you go in there to help you to to ease your mind. You know, and again manipulation. Mm-hmm. You know, as well as um, uh, you you got the massage parlors, but artists. Right, they may feel a certain type of way. Right, and I was gonna say even before that that you know I, I speak a lot about um, lyrics. Okay, but there's also you brought up a good point about beats and how beats can actually affect your mood as well. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Um, music, uh, typically, the, what I was taught 
was higher keys, happy music. You know, mm-hmm. lower keys, almost depression music. You know, make you feel angry type and of depression music. <laughs> yeah, I call it I call it depression music. You know what I mean? But it makes you feel some type of way. So, like. I, I, there's a song that I found from uh, the Lowe's commercial. I make my own sunshine. I make my own sunshine. I like that song, right? It makes me feel some type of way. It makes me happy. But mm-hmm. when I heard it, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes me, you know, makes me smile. Mm-hmm. It's talking about sunshine, but it's it's high. It's, it's, it's a high note. It's, 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 it's cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So the music is high. Like you said, like an example would be like church choirs. Right? Oh, right. Choirs, is they're high. Yeah, they sing high. And another example... Mm-hmm. Um, that song by Little Baby and Kurt Franklin again. We win. We win. Mm-hmm. That that's a higher key. Make you feel happy. Right. And then like we talk about what Negro spirituals. Oh my God. <laughs> and they they're usually the low. It's low. Sweet yeah. low. Right. Sweet chariot. Right, which doesn't make you feel happy. No, it doesn't make you but happy. But in the defense of the Negro spiritual, it wasn't a happy time, right? True. So that just wasn't happy. Wasn't really coming from their spirit. Right. I wonder when that's. <laughs> I wonder when that switched up. When they were, yeah, right. You know what I mean? After Stop we popping after cats the in the head. Slaves were free. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it got better. Maybe. Then. Maybe you know what I'm saying. I don't want to yes. get into that too much. Yeah, you know, that's a whole nother episode. That's a whole nother episode. But I think it's a good example of how like notes and you know like beats exactly can bring you up or down. Because yes. you said that I was thinking, oh, Negro spirituals. Oh, they were really not unhappy. Right. Like, and it and it showed. And and kind of going back to what you were saying, it, it goes back to the artist, right? It goes back to the artist. Um, I believe if an artist is feeling some type of way, right, they put that in their music, it will have you feeling some type of way as well. Right. You know, I think so. it's like a, almost like a spiritual connection there. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it does something to your spirit. Right. And so artists uh, use, a lot of times artists use their writing or beat beat making yes. as an outlet. For their for, for their, their own. Health. Yeah, for their own emotions. Yeah. But know? music is so powerful that it rubs off on you without right. you even realizing it. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when we listen to it, realizing that, um, you can maybe relate to it because the right. artist that wrote it or c- created it mm-hmm. was going through it. Right, at that time. Right. And so, and they were using that as an outlet. And then you get it, right? And then you receive it. So they're 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 uh, expressing and they're getting it out and you pick it up and you receive it. So almost like the, the music almost is a connection to sometimes mental health. Well, yeah, of course it affects it. You know, your mental, you may have... You may be going through a hard time. You may be going through depression, not even realize it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you may be, you may have some trauma, not even realize. A lot right. of times, people don't realize that they have trauma. Right. They don't realize that they're that what they're going through is a depression. Mm-hmm. And then what happens is we feed it. Okay. Right? okay. Okay. So you feed right into it. I feel like listening to some low beats and some sad music. Perfect example. Uh, mm-hmm. What's that uh, movie that I was made out, fellas? I was made to watch females. I was made to watch this. Uh, waiting to exhale. To <laughs> yeah, there was a scene in Waiting to Exhale with yeah. uh, Angela Bassett. I always say her name. You wrong. said her name right. Yay! <laughs> she get two Love points Angela for that. Bassett. Big up to Angela Bassett. Um, um, and she was, you know, mad. Of course, her husband left her. Those of you who are familiar with the movie that you haven't, you know, most people have seen it about seven, eight times. And if you haven't, don't worry about it. <laughs> her husband left her. Um, was cheating on her with another woman. She was sitting there crying in her feelings, and guess what was playing in the background? A Some really sad, mood, sad love song. <laughs> yes, yes. And was just, you know, feeding in her mood, and she was in her feelings, and I'm going to call her, and I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. Right. Next thing you know, the song went off. Wow. And she's standing there mid-cry, like, what happened to the music? Who turned it off? Wow. <laughs> and I think that was that, that example came in my head. That's a great example. This. That's mm-hmm. a great example. So, you know, with that being said, you know, mental health is very, very um, important for you to uh, understand and very important for you to take care of your mental health because it's not a joke. You know, um, you may not even know you have mental health issues. Right. You know, um, it's very important to take care of yourself. And it's very important to understand what you're what you're putting in your ear gate. You know what I mean? And that actually does affect, you know, it has the power to uh, to affect your mood. So it can it can make you feel sad. It can make you feel happy. It can make you feel more angry. Right. You know, so if you're not in a good place, um, it may be a good idea to put on something more uplifting. Right. You know, um, 
to help you kind of come out of that mood. It may not solve everything, okay. but, you know, I think the goal here is to just, you know, pay attention to what you're listening to. Definitely. Understand that the music and the atmosphere, even yes. wherever you are, you're, you know, you can't help but to meditate on it. Right. Right. If it's in the atmosphere. Right. And so, you know, just pay attention to what you're listening to. And how it's and, and understand that it does affect your mood. It does. You know, is this helping my mood right now or is this hurting my mood? Is okay. this making it worse? Cool. Which brings us to our next sponsor, Bookman, Bookman Solutions. Solutions. So our next sponsor, yes, is uh, is Bookman Solutions Counseling. And um, let's see here. Are you experiencing a challenging situation? Have you recently experienced a loss? Do you feel stuck? Have you lost your motivation? Are you having a hard time bouncing back? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you may want to give Bookman Solutions Counseling Services a call. Uh, Bookman Solutions Counseling is located in the Gwinnett County area of um, in Georgia. In Georgia. In the state of Georgia. We're in Georgia, yep. Um, and so uh, Bookman Solutions offers individual and group therapy to adults starting at age 18. And it's very easy to get in touch with them. You can find out more information by contacting bookmansolutions.com. Okay. Or you can contact them at 678-517-APPT. And that's short for appointment. 678-517-APPT. And they're very good at getting back with you. Cool. Well, thank you for that yeah. information. You know, um, please take care of your uh, mental health. If you see anybody who um, is... is is not is looking depressed or whatever, get help for them. Right, and don't be afraid of the response because sometimes people, you know, you I think I hear a lot of people say they're going to be mad at me if I, you know, if I try to respond or try to help them. And you know, my my answer to that is be more concerned about them uh, being alive, saving a life. Right. You know, and uh, if they're mad at you. That won't last. Nah, that, that won't, won't last. last. And if they mad at you, you know what? Let them be mad at you for for mm -hmm. helping them. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'd rather exactly. you be mad at me for that than not helping you at all. Exactly. And and so there are ways to help. There's of course the uh, suicide prevention hotline, which we'll give you at the end of the at the end of this podcast. Yes. There's also uh, state specific crisis lines, um, in which the, you can contact a, a mental health professional. They will assess the person over the phone. They okay. will even come to the person's residence and assess them for mental health crises or mental health emergencies, um, which sometimes determines whether or not a hospitalization is necessary or what they okay. can do to intervene to stop a person from hurting themselves or other people. Okay. Okay, and so some of those numbers will be on our screen as well. Um, but make sure you find out that number for your state. And yes. have that somewhere handy where you can see it. Definitely. If not for yourself, then for somebody else. Cool. Well, thank you for that. Yes. Thank you. For, that wraps it up for today's show. Yes. And if you have any comments, please put it in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Of course. Let me see those comments. Yes. Let me know what you think about the show so far. So uh, thank you for tuning in again. And um, if nobody tells you that they love you, remember, we do. We do. do. Unlocking, Unlocking the music. The music. Uh -huh. comes down. Now I know to the world, the rap I kick will make you think I'm a lunatic. Lost my mind, I'm mentally sick. Uh -huh. But for all mankind, this is it. New kingdom on the earth where the devil don't fit. No more bad times and no more wars. New Jerusalem, the city with the gold on the floor. Righteous laws, a thousand year pause, the earth rejuvenated, Christ illuminated, I fight for the cause, kick down doors, the devil set up, and I'm about to erupt, Max the warrior, I wear the armor of God, fix your face, raise the base, and stop looking so hard, you see, praising the Lord is easy for me, Greg Max right here, he's supposed to be, you're not close to me, you're supposed to me.